Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm so happy that you joined me. I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for chair yoga. And today we're going to be focusing on strengthening through the center line of our body and our core. I'm going to be doing this bit by bit. Half of the class is going to be in the chair, the other half of the class is going to be on the floor. Everything I suggest is just that, a suggestion. You're listening to these suggestions and deciding whether they work for your body today. Feel free to adjust and adapt anything. Do less repetitions or, this is a video, you can pause it and you can keep going with the repetitions if that feels really good for you. Making sure that you're listening to yourself more than you're listening to me. Strengthening the core, I highly recommend sitting away from the back of your chair. That way we're already strengthening our core, not using the back of the chair for the support. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. There is absolutely no way you can get any of this wrong. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself above all. This is a video. If you're done at any point, you can just turn it off. You don't have to go to the end. Enjoy the class. So we're gonna move down through our feet. Whether you've got shoes on or socks on, it doesn't matter. Imagine spreading the toes. You can even pick the toes up and spread them really nice and wide. Push down through the feet evenly, through the inside and outside edges of the feet, both left and right. And then let the toes settle softly as snowflakes. And then when you're ready, starting to put a little pressure down on your feet evenly left to right as best as you can and just enough about five percent enough to wake up the muscles of your legs maybe even through the lower belly here and into the hips and then exhale let that go and all that does is it just wakes everything up and we have a different opportunity here to relax and release through the legs we know that if we tense and relax, we get a lot more relaxation than if we just start to relax. Settling into your chair. If you shift from left to right, depending on the kind of chair you're on, you might even notice those two bony bits underneath your seat, left to right, that's the base of your pelvis. And just like we evened up the feet, we're gonna even up those sitting bones making sure as best as you're able that the shoulders are over the hip. So we're not sitting forward and we're not sitting back. That way the pelvis is neutral. Take a big breath in when you're ready and imagine taking the entire weight of your upper body and on an exhale, just dumping it down into the support of the chair. And you can take a few breaths to do that if you want. And then from there, so we get really connected downwards from the pelvis down, we're very supported. And then from the seat, the pubic bone, the pelvic floor, we're lifting up through the center line of our body, through the crown of the head. So the upper body gets a little bit taller, a bit more spacious here. Rolling those shoulders back and down a couple of times. Maybe it's the first time today you've done that. And then settling them down and away from the ears. Broadening across the collarbone. So now we have this very grounded lower body and this spacious upper body. Be mindful of the shape. Take a breath in when you're ready. And on an exhale, make any slight or subtle movements to allow this mindful posture to be more sustainable. No forcing, no straining here. Mm -hmm. Get comfortable and familiar with this seat. We'll keep coming back to it. And then we'll do our little check-in. So feel free to stay in this posture, soften the gaze or lower the gaze, or even close your eyes if you feel stable. 
and just notice, ask yourself the question, how am I doing in this moment? Let anything arise, not judging it, not needing to change or fix anything. Be curious as to what's on your mind today. Let anything bubble up. Any feelings, emotions that are present. Notice how your body's feeling today. And you may notice that in different ways, sensations, you might notice the energy levels that you have. You might notice some tender spots that you need to take care of as you move today. Any tension and tightness that are present, see if you can allow that to soften in your own way. And then start to notice the breath. The breath and the body moving in harmony together. Starting to take a little deeper inhale and a little longer exhale. In your own way, your own rhythm, we all breathe differently. Starting to expand the breath. And once we have that deeper, longer breath in and out, then start to smooth it out from the inhale, from the bottom of the inhale all the way to the top, from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom, steadying the breath. This is regulating the breath. The breath is the only autonomic system in the body that we can override. And when we do this, it directly affects our central nervous system, which directly affects everything. So we regulate the breath, we regulate the nervous system. So with that smoother, steadier breath, notice if there's any forcing, any straining in the breath or your posture and let that go. So it becomes sustainable. So if all we did for an hour was sit here and breathe, you would be absolutely fine in this steady, smooth breath. Rooting down, feet in seat to rise once more. So getting comfortable and familiar with this, rolling the shoulders back and down, and the heart is open as the collarbones broaden just a little. I'm gonna take those hands together, either palms, soft fists, or interlace the hands. Elbows in towards the ribs, and then we're going to take a figure of eight with the wrists. See if we can slow the figure of eight down. If it feels comfortable for you, then close your eyes or soften your gaze or look away from your hands. So you're starting to allow the body to get used to the movement in its own way. You can allow this to stay small with the elbows drawn in towards the ribs, or start to allow the shoulders to come naturally forward and back as those figure of eights get a little bigger. Option to start to allow those figure of eights in your own way to get bigger still. Slow and smooth the movement. And of course, as we're Coming from one side to the other, when we're sitting away from the back of our chair, we're having to light up the very central column of our body, the core. Let's bring those figure of eights back to where we originally came from, elbows in towards the ribs, heart facing forward, and we'll pause. Start to take those figure of eights around in the opposite direction. It's probably going to feel a bit awkward. And then the option is to stay here nice and small, or if you want to, start to allow those figure of eights to get a little bigger. Stay connected to that smooth and steady breath. And start to notice 
how your body experiences this movement. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring that back into a smaller figure of eight, elbows draw in, shoulders square. And then we come back through center. Let's take those fingers apart, give them a little wiggle. And then hands come back to support. I'm going to drop that right arm down next to us with the head of the arm, the figure of eight. Connect to the breath. And we want to create that steadiness that we created in the breath into the movement. This is not about the biggest movement. This is about the most controlled, steadiest movement that we can find. And we pause when you're ready and take those figure eights around in the opposite direction. Allow this movement to be yours. It does not have to look a particular way. We're trying that steady, smooth, control of the shoulder. You may feel this in different places and you may not feel this in the shoulder but in other areas of your body. Then at the end of the next exhale we'll come back through center, right hand comes to support, left hand dangles, same thing other side. Connect to the breath and with that breath we start to allow the left shoulder to create figure of eights. Notice how this feels in your body. You might notice some snap, crackle, and pops in there. Again, this isn't about the biggest range of motion. This is about the control and the smoothness of the movement. Notice where you experience this in your body, where sensation is. Adjust and adapt the movement to suit your body. Let's pause when you're ready and go around in the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. Another couple of breaths here. And then when you're ready, let's pause and bend with the elbows soft. Um, fists in the hands, rooting to rise. And we'll reconnect to our breath if it drifted off. And then when we're ready, we're going to draw that right elbow back up, over and down, as the left elbow comes back up, over and down. If you connected your fingers, which you don't need to do, it's a figure of eight through the elbows. And then the add-on here is to draw the belly in and curl in, so we're opening up the back of the body here. Noticing how you experience that, noticing any areas that are tight, but also notice the places of ease. You can tuck the chin, just making sure you feel stable on your chair as you keep connected to that steady breath. Let's do another two either side or resting, of course. And then at the end of that exhale, we'll come up through center. Elbows still drawn in. We're doing the same thing, opposite direction. So now the right elbow comes up, back and down. Left elbow up, back and down. So noticing how this feels. One shoulder may be very different from the other, so allow that to be so. Be curious, no judgment. Option is to elevate the heart, so we're getting a little extension through the spine. We're getting this openness through the upper body. Again, allow these movements to be your own. They do not have to look like they do in my body. 
everybody's different, we're all put together differently, we're all working with different things. Mm -hmm. Keep that breath connected, so we want the steadiness and smoothness of the movement. And let's take another two either side. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come all the way back through center, any intuitive movement to release tension, go ahead. We'll dangle those hands down next to us, still rooting to rise, still this broadness across the collarbones. That left hand can support you on your chair or dangle. And right palm turns up, bending from the elbow, inhaling up, palms down on the exhale. And of course, today's um, focus is on the core. Option to start to move from the shoulder. Now, if you feel like you need support, please take the left hand to the side of the chair. Otherwise, maybe those right fingers come up and over. We're moving through the spine so that right sitting bone is anchored to the chair. Left fingertips, if they're not supported by the chair, can dangle. Mm -hmm. Let's take another one or two here. Keep it connected to the breath. So there's very little stillness here. Just a brief pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. And then we're coming all the way back to center. That right hand can come down, support you or not. Left palm turns up. Same thing, other side from the elbow. Inhaling up, palm down on the exhale. Great place to be option to start to move from the shoulder. Option to stay here. And again, that right hand is there for support. Should you wish to tilt over to the right, that left hip now is anchored so it doesn't lift. And we're getting that length all the way across the left side of the body. Keep connected to the breath. Rest at any point or another one or two. You get to choose. This is your movement. Resting is a great option. Next time those left fingertips come down, we're going to root to rise, ease any tension, and the hands come to support. Now, if you are sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend coming away from it. Now, even if it's just a centimeter or two, as we get into flexion and extension of the spine. So we've already done lateral flexion. Now we're coming forward and back. Hands resting on the thighs towards the knees. On the inhale, as we draw the shoulder blades towards each other, the hands slide back towards the pelvis. We get this openness down the front of the body. Exhale, push the fingertips towards or on the knees. Curl the belly and push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. Inhaling, we're arching the back as we get this extension through the spine. Exhaling, we're flexing. Just let the hands slide up and down. If you want to add on on the inhale, lift up through the forehead. Back of the neck is long, not just compressed here. Exhale, chin comes down in towards the chest. If anything doesn't feel good to you, no need to do it. You can take this all the way down into the feet if you like. On the inhale, imagine dragging the heels of your legs back towards the chair. Exhale, push into your feet evenly as we round. This is getting down a little bit more into the lower belly and exaggerating that pelvic tilt and getting the legs involved, of course. On that exhale, we're drawing the belly in and up, and that's really the diaphragm, of course, as it pushes the air out of the lungs. Fill up on that breath on the inhale. Let's take another two or three here. Keep going in your own time, your own way. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. At the end of that exhale, you can come all the way back up for support. Take a breath in. Exhale, any tension and tightness. 
Now we're rooting to rise, lengthening up through the crown of the head, imagining that we have a laser shooting up from the very crown of our head onto the ceiling. With a long spine, now we're going to start to create small circles on the ceiling, moving from the pelvic area. So nice and long through the spine, and as we come forward, the shoulders come forward, doesn't, doesn't mean a lot. Exhaling around to the side and to the back. Inhaling round and forward, exhaling round and back. Now allow this to be a very small movement. So if you've got big movements going on, see if you can create a smaller circles on the ceiling. This starts to get the transverse abdominals, which is kind of like a corset of muscles around your spine, three layers deep, that are the posterior muscles. That's what we're trying to awaken and strengthen here. The end of one of your next exhales will pause, take those circles around in an opposite direction. Again, imagining that the spine is long, the crown of the head is reaching up, so we've got that length there. And again, this isn't the biggest movement because then we get the really big outer muscles involved. What we're looking for is those inner deep muscles to start to awaken. It doesn't take very much. Keep the breath connected to the movement. And the next time you come into an exhale, we'll come up through center. Now, depending on the chair you're on and how stable you feel, we are going to start leaning forward. So if you want to come back in your chair a little, then you're welcome to. Hands resting on the thighs, rooting to rise, wide through the collarbones, hinging from the hips here. So I'm going to show you what we're not doing. We're not going to be rounding through the back. What we're going to be doing is hinging from the hips, long spine. Chin tucked in a little bit, and we've got this broadness across the collarbones. Palms resting on the thighs, and you're welcome to widen or narrow your thighs as you need to. We, this is the support. As we come forward, notice if you're rounding. If you are, collarbones wide, draw the belly in and up so we're not overarching. Inhale, shoulders over hips, exhaling forward. And we've got the hands to support us. It's not a very big movement. What we're doing here is strengthening through the mid to lower back. Option to hover the hands. And again, belly's drawn in, collarbones wide. Take your awareness to the back, lower body, and notice. Don't go so far that you're losing the breath or holding the breath at any point. If you want to add on, elbows come in towards the ribs here, thumbs to the ceiling as if you're holding onto a box. This is the inhale. On the exhale, as we come forward, you can add to the weight, strengthening through the lower back by extending your hands any amount. Draw the elbows back in as the shoulders come over the hips. Option two, stay in any of the in this movement or without the hands either hovering or on the thighs, option to come forward and stay. Belly drawn in and up, collarbones wide, crown of the head reaching. If you're really gripping with the feet or the toes, see if you can soften that a little. And we're really breathing into that corset of muscles. Keep the breath steady and soft. If you're holding the breath, then come up a little. Stay for one last exhale. Push into the feet, shoulders over hips as we inhale and come up. Big breath in. Exhale it out. I'm gonna do the same thing, only we're coming back in the chair. So if you're sitting into the back of your chair, you've got no space to move, so let's shuffle forward a little. Make sure you feel grounded. This time, all of us are going to take those elbows in towards the ribs because this will help us as we start to shift the shoulders back. So same thing, instead of coming forward, we're coming back. The inhale is the lengthening. On the exhale, hinging from the hips, 
Send the fingertips out as you draw the shoulders back, chin in towards the chest, and we inhale back through center. Making sure we're not overarching the back, so we want the belly drawn and collarbones wide. And the further those hands go forward, the more you're going to be able to counteract your upper body weight going back. So we're just using the upper body weight, the weight of the head and the shoulders and the upper torso to start to strengthen this time through the front corset. So from your pubic bone, pretty much all the way up just above your belly button to the lower ribs. So imagine that pubic bone drawing in a little closer towards your belly button but the collarbones are nice and wide here. Play with sending your fingers a little further forward and draw the chin in so the head and the neck are supported as they come back. So we're trying not to go back with the shoulders but dip through the chin. Your head and your shoulders and your arms weigh a whole lot. So it's not gonna take very much to start to strengthen through the core option to keep going in movement or stay three breaths belly's drawn in we've still got the breath nice and steady crown of the head is reaching collarbones broad shoulder blades towards each other thumbs to the ceiling let's take one more breath here and then on the inhale shoulders over hips elbows drawn in and take the hands down big breath in Exhale it out. Nicely done. We're going to take the feet a little wider. External rotation. We spend most of our time in parallel or internal rotation. So getting into the hip joints, we really want to keep that range of motion up. It doesn't matter how wide they are. It does not matter if one is different from the other. Just try and wiggle from side to side. Make sure you feel stable here. And if you need more support, slide back onto your chair. Hands resting to the thighs, and we're doing the same thing here. We're rooting to rise. So if you need to adjust your foundation or your seat, please do. And then, this is very different from what we've been doing, the lower ribs are going to hula hoop. So now we're really putting, um, um, we're not hinging from the hips, we're really massaging through the torso. So on the inhale, we come round and forward, whichever direction you're going in. Exhale, round and back. So this doesn't have to be a big movement. It can be an imagined movement, it can be a very small movement. What we're looking for here is control, steady breath. And then the option is, if that feels good to you, to get the shoulders, the head, the neck, the pelvis. You can even push down into one foot and then the other, making it a whole body movement. What we're looking for is intuitive movement here. Notice where you experience this in your body. Be curious as to whether you only notice the challenge or you notice the ease as well. Change things up, there's not a wrong way to do this. And of course, the control here is the control through the core, through the spine. Let's pause at the end of an exhale and take that round in the opposite direction. And again, this doesn't have to look a particular way. Make this your own movement. Notice how this feels. Mm -hmm. Keep the breath connected to the movement as always. Very little stillness here. We're moving all the time, even in the brief pauses at the top and the bottom of the breath. Let's take another one or two here. And then at the end of an exhale, we'll come back through center. And then we'll draw the legs in, just wash the knees a little side to side, getting into any tension in the outer hip we may have created. And then we're coming back to our mindful seat, rooting to rise. Once again, those collarbones are broad. Reconnect to the breath if you lost it. And stay here for as long as you like. 
And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the earth with anything you need for your deep relaxation close at hand. If the earth feels far away from you, then take a sofa, a recline chair that's very supported, or a bed, and I'll see you there. Hello, hello, here we are down on the earth. We're gonna continue with that theme of core. So let's come all the way to our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Feel free to pick the hips up, shift them a little closer towards your heels, and that'll look different for each of us. And then we roll one shoulder blade and another underneath us. So we get, again, we've lifted up through the spine, lengthened, and now we're broadening across the upper body. And then when you're ready, soften the gaze or close the eyes, whatever's comfortable for you. We take a big breath in. Hold for a beat and then let it go. Take a few breaths like that and let the body get used to this configuration that gravity is pulling down to our back body now and allow the bones to settle. So releasing tightness and tension. And then when you're ready, we start to regulate the breath again, getting that smooth, steady breath. And we're going to start off by rooting into the right foot and lifting the left foot off the floor. So our femur bone, this long bone through the thigh, is reaching up towards the ceiling. We're going to take that left hand, palm flat, and take it to the top of the thigh. And depending on the length of your bones, that's going to be different for each of us where that rests. But we're not gripping onto the thigh, it is a flat thigh a flat palm, and then we're reaching that shoulder blade on the left side underneath us. Draw the belly down and into the earth, and we can do that with a little help from that right foot, just pushing in, and we anchor that lower back into the mat. And then from here, with that heel dangling down on the left side, you're going to start to build a little pressure, palm into leg, leg into palm on that left side, and we're regulating the breath. You can stay here if you want to add on. You can lift up the left ankle towards knee height. And again, we're adding a little weight here. That's a little more challenging. Please keep that lower back anchored into the mat as we breathe. And we'll stay here for another five, as much or as little pressure as feels good to you for four, Keep that breath steady for three, almost there, two, and one. We release, take that left foot down. Big breath in, exhale it out, reconnect the breath. Same thing, other side. Left foot anchors to draw that belly down and in, lower back is imprinted on the mat and the right knee draws up towards the ceiling. Palm of the right hand flat to the right thigh at any point. Roll the right shoulder blade underneath you, and then with that regulated breath, we start to add pressure. Thigh into palm, palm into thigh, and the lower back is imprinted. You can stay here if you want to add on that right ankle lifts up towards knee height and we're adding a little bit more weight there and building the pressure. Four, five, keep the breath going nice and steady. Four, lower belly is drawn down and in. Three, if you need to rest, please do. If you want to take off tension, you can do that too. Two, add or release pressure, keep the breath going. One, and release the pressure, right foot comes down. Big breath in, exhale it out. Great place to stay if you want to do the same thing, one leg at a time, go ahead. If you want to add on, you're gonna take both knees up to the sky, so those femur bones are really shooting up towards the sky. Now, the closer they are towards your heart, your chest, 
that's going to be easier. The further away they are, that's more strength that you need through the core. So while we're here, draw the belly down and in towards the center of the earth so that lower back is imprinted. From here, palms come to the thighs. Roll the shoulder blades underneath you so the collarbones are broad. And again, decide for yourself if the knees need to be closer or they can come above the hips or further away. And we're regulating the breath as the belly button draws down. From here, for a lot of us, this is enough. You can lift the ankles up to knee height if you want to add some weight. And then we push palms into thighs, thighs into palms. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just firming up. And then the add on here is to add pressure with that lower belly down and in. And we're holding this for five. Keep breathing. Four, adding or taking away pressure. Legs into palms, palms into legs. Three, keep connected to the breath. Two, almost there. And one, release the pressure, bring those knees in, give yourself a little bit of a hug. Feet come down, wash the knees side to side. And then feet to the floor, knees to the sky, and anchor back into the breath. From here, we're going to take the hands behind the head. Elbows as wide as they're comfortable, and again, rolling their shoulder blades in towards each other. Same thing here. Knees come up towards the sky, and the belly button draws down. So there's a slight tuck of the tail there. Ankles can be down or towards knee height. Get rooted into the breath, and if you want to stay here, then that is enough for you. Again, bringing the knees a little closer in towards the chest is going to ease things. This time, any head and neck issues, you're just keeping the head down. Actually, let's all start with the head down, just anchored, anchoring the hands down. And then, when you're ready, we'll extend the right leg out about 45 degrees. So we're not taking it all the way down to the earth, about 45 degrees and we're bringing the knee back in. And then left leg extends and drawing it in. Keep that lower belly anchored in. Option to start to extend the leg a little further towards the edge of your mat and down towards the earth. Notice if you're arching the back, draw the belly down and in, especially in that extension. Making sure that the knees are in the original position when they come back, so they're not all the way tucked in and we have that rounded back. And again, as much or as little as you can keep the breath going. Any head and neck issues, you're staying here. Keep it nice and slow with the breath. Option, if you've got no head and neck issues, you draw the chin down in towards the chest. And as you extend the left leg, the left elbow comes in towards the right knee. Keep the head elevated as we take the right elbow to the left knee. If it feels better for you to have the head down fully through the whole movement, please do. Keep the lower belly anchored into the earth. And let's keep this going for another four. Three. Two. One. And if the head is lifted, we'll take it down, draw the knees in towards you. Give yourself a little hug here. 
<laughs> Regulate the breath. And we've got one more piece to this. Hands back underneath the head and we're bringing those knees up. Again, ankles down or up towards knee height. Draw the belly button down and into the lower back is imprinted. And from here, I'm gonna take, keep the knees where they are more or less, take the ankles out to the side, right side, exhale down, up, and then we're gonna extend the legs up towards the ceiling. So, we're creating circles in the air with our feet. And then get the hips involved too. So as the feet come to one side, you're gonna to start to shorten that side of your waist as well. Nice and slow. The legs do not have to extend straight. You can get as much bend in them as they feel comfortable. If it feels okay for you, then you can send those knees a little bit further away from your nose. And again, lower back is still imprinted. Next, exhale. We're gonna pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. Keep the breath steady and smooth. And again, if you need to ease it up, bring the knees closer towards you. If you want to uh, create a little more challenge, then we're taking the knees a little bit further away. Keep that lower belly down and in. And let's take one more here. You can always rest. On that exhale, you're gonna release the hands, draw the knees in, rock and roll a little bit from side to side. Beautifully done. Feet come down to the floor. Draw the right knee in. Flex that ankle over the top of the left thigh, and here we are in a figure four. Push the right knee and the right ankle away from you. Great place to stay here. And again, that lower belly is drawn in and down. Option to stay here in that figure four. It's a very active pose. We're not just hanging out here. Option with that steady breath to elevate the right a left foot and draw the hands towards the outer and inner knee or that outer shin. Both feet flexed if they're up off the floor protecting the knee. And then from here, take a lot of the pressure here in the leg so that left knee is drawing in, the right leg is drawing out rather than it being in your arms, your shoulders, and your jaw and your face. So relax the face, relax the jaw. Release through the shoulders as much as you're able and let the legs do the work here. Option to keep that core strength going. Release the hands and the knees come up towards the ceiling. That left heel can lift towards knee height and here we are, figure four in elevated figure four with the core component and let's stay here for five you can always rest of course keep the breath going for four steady and smooth for three almost there for two and one release the left foot down to the floor if it was lifted and release the right leg same thing, other side. Left knee draws in, up and over to the right thigh. And we're breathing here. Lower back still imprinted on the mat and we're pushing the left knee and ankle away from us. Great place to stay here. If you wanna add on, we're drawing that right thigh in towards us. Hands come to wherever they're comfortable both feet flexed, and then pass on the hard work to the legs. So relax through the face and jaw, shoulders deepen into the earth, and let the legs do the work. That right leg is really drawing in, the left leg pushing away from you. Notice where you're feeling this, if you need to back off a little. 
And the add-on here is bringing in that core component. So we take the knees up towards the ceiling, that right ankle can elevate towards the right knee height, and we're here. For five, keep the breath going in your own way. For four, steady and smooth. Three, notice what's going on in your mind. Sweep the thoughts away and focus on the breath. For two, almost there. And one. When you're ready, take the right foot down. If it was lifted, and we release the left leg. Take a big, beautiful breath in. Exhale it out nice and slow and steady. Mm -hmm. And let's from here take some um, extra into the hips. So we're going to send those feet up towards the ceiling. Keep a nice bend through the knees. We'll just rotate the ankles. Might have some snap, crackle, and pops in there. Let's take them around in the opposite direction. And the torso is steady to the earth here. And then we'll come back to stillness. I'm going to take that right leg and cross it over the left, but as close towards the groin as you can make it. This is going to feel a bit awkward. And from here, once you've crossed that over, you're going to bend those knees, hands to opposite knees here. We're going to draw the knees down and in, getting into especially that outer right hip. From here, slide the hands down towards the shins, maybe the ankles, depending on the length of your bones. Maybe you take opposite feet. Shoulder blades roll back and down, and here we are, wherever you are. Back body is imprinted into the mat. You can draw the chin in, and we breathe. Breathe into sensation in the right hip. If you need to back off, please do no forcing here. The breath is smooth and steady. If you're holding the breath, you're doing way too much work. Soften where you feel like you're building pressure, even if that means backing off from the shape. We tend to think that doing more is more yoga, and that is not the case. And when you're ready, we'll release the hands back to the knees unless they're already there. Straighten up through the legs, we're uncrossing, and then that left thigh is coming, crossing over the right thigh, right up by the groin there. Stay here or bend the knees, taking the knees to the um, opposite, um, hands to the opposite knees. Option to stay here, slide the hands down, and maybe even, depending on the length of your arm bones, you can take the outer feet. Both feet flexed here, we're drawing the thighs down into the ribs and the belly, we're breathing here, there's a lot of compression, and of course we're getting into the left hip. So breathing steady and smooth, relax through the face and jaw, and again, let the legs do some of the work here, so we're not just gripping on with the arms, the legs are drawing down and creating that compression as well. Regulate the breath. Breathe into any tension, tightness. And then when you're ready, we'll release. Send those legs up towards the ceiling, uncross, and we'll take those hands up too. A nice bend through all the joints here, and just rotate the hands and feet. And we'll take them around in the opposite direction. And then when you're ready, hands rest on the upper body. And then we we'll draw the knees in, hands on the knees, and we'll take the knees wide here. So now we're getting into the groin. Option to stay here, modified happy baby. Elbows can be down towards the earth. Or we can take the feet up towards the ceiling. Hands come to the outside of those legs at any point or the outside of the feet. And we're breathing. Once again, the back body is imprinted on the earth. You don't have to stay in stillness. You can rock and roll from side to side. If you want to extend one leg out and draw it in and extend the other leg out, you can. When you feel ready, heels come down, knees draw in. 
and then the feet come to the floor. Pick the hips up, send them over to the right side of the mat. Left leg extends along the earth, right knee in, up and over, left hand anchors it as you roll towards the outside of the left hip. Right shoulder is anchored. If you need any support under the right lower leg, please take it, a bolster, blankets, pillows. Now we're breathing here. If that right shoulder is anchored to the earth, you can take the gaze over the right shoulder and we breathe. Breathe for softness here. So if you're um, here and you're building tension, see where it is you can relax. And that maybe the knee comes up a little closer to you or further away. Smooth and steady. Gently does it when you're ready. Coming up and out, right foot comes down, left foot joins it. Shift the hips back through center and over to the left. Right leg extends, and then the same thing, other side. Left knee in, up and over, towards the right. Maybe you roll towards or to the outside of that right hip. Left shoulder is anchored. Take any support you might need. Make any adjustments so it feels better in your body. And we breathe, breathe into any tighter places, tension. So this is not endurance here, we're not trying to build tension, we really are trying to seek softness. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay here for longer, please do listen to your body and what it needs. Otherwise, we're drawing the knee up to center, feet down, and the knees back to center too. Wash the knees side to side, any other movements you need for the rest of your practice. And then we're coming into relaxation. And remember, it doesn't have to be on your back. It can be on your side, on your belly, any other place. Take any supports you need. Allow it to be your relaxation, and as you do that, make sure that you're adding to your comfort by right? maybe adding a pillow, a blanket, maybe an eye pillow to tune out the light. And we're settling into a place that feels really comfortable for us. And that's not going to be the same for any two people. Big, beautiful breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out as you deepen into the support underneath you. And if you want to, take one hand, one palm, or both palms, over your heart space. Or you can just take your awareness there if you're in a really nice place and you don't want to move. We're going to start to tune in to the breath here. The breath in the upper chest. So start to notice your gentle rhythm of breath, no control here. Just notice that expanding, lifting of the inhale, softening of the exhale. Getting used to your gentle rhythm. Stay here. Or take one or both hands down onto the lower ribs. And if you want to wrap one arm around the rib, let it settle on the opposite rib. You are um, more than welcome because sometimes hands to the outside of the ribs, elbows to the floor can feel a little constrictive. We're going to take the breath down into the outer ribs. So breathing into the palms or your awareness there. As the lungs fill, the ribs will flare out. And on the exhale, there's a softening and letting go. Smooth and steady. And if this doesn't feel right for you, you can take your hand back onto your chest or 
adding on one or both palms to your lower belly or simply your awareness. Now breathe all the way down into your belly. On the inhale, the belly expands like it has a balloon inflating. On the exhale, that balloon deflates. stay here or release the hands and then start to notice the breath. Breathing in, chest, ribs, belly, or maybe it's belly, ribs, chest for you. And then exhale, notice the whole thing softening and letting go. You may feel like the whole torso breathes at the same time, or it may feel like it's coming from the top down or at the bottom up. There's no wrong way to do this. All we're doing here is steadying the breath and building our awareness. Let's take another five breaths here. support underneath you, relaxing the joints, releasing through the muscles, allow the muscles of your face to soften and relax. go of any lost little bits of tension and tightness as we step back from the thoughts simply watching the thoughts come and go without attaching to them noticing how huh, my mind is thinking about this thing and then in a moment huh, my mind is thinking about something else and we start to realize that we can observe Stay here for as long as you like. If you wish to stay longer, let my words drift over your awareness and deepen into the calm. If you wish to finish your practice, start to bring your awareness back to the support underneath your body. Notice how held you are here. Take your awareness to the inside of your body, from the tip of your toes and fingertips, all the way to the crown of your head. And you might even be able to tune into that gentle breath of yours, your rhythm.
starting to increase the inhale and to let the exhale soften into a sigh every inhale we increase the capacity every exhale let that breath settle in and down we start to fill up with a little more energy as we take the breath in as we take that more mindful breath allow lazy slow awakening movements to ripple through your body in their own way there's no wrong way to awaken if you wish to stay exactly as you are to finish up please stay in your shape if you wish to Find a different shape and make your way there in the next couple of breaths. Make that movement again slow and deliberate, being aware of what it is you're doing, a conscious choice. As we come to whatever shape we've decided to finish up in. We'll take a big breath in when we're ready. Exhale it out slow and steady. There's a hand gesture that comes into your awareness. Please take it. We'll take a breath in together. Exhale, dipping the chin down towards your chest and thanking yourself for this time, this attention, this breath, and this movement. I thank you for joining me today. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste.